So we were in uh, Hong Kong doing reshoots for Thor. The director comes up to me and, she, and he says, basically it's just the final kiss of the movie, you have to kiss Natalie, but she's not here. So we brought in these girls. Um, he said, I know this sounds awful or kind of whatever, but he said, do you want to pick one? Who do you want to kiss? And had these young ladies who were all, you know, wonderful. And I said, well, my wife's around the corner, <laughs> let's get her in. And she's the same height. I won't have to explain to her what I've been doing at work if I'm having to kiss someone else. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, the final kiss in, in, in that movie is between my wife and I. I remembered reading the, the breakdown for Thor. It said must be over 6'3 and 200 pounds. I thought, oh cool, this is the one thing that sort of it fits me. You know, most of the time I'd have to lie about my height and say I was a little shorter and I'd only get cast a football player or something. So I thought, great, this is up my alley. I came into the audition with Ken Branner, thought I nailed it and then <laughs> never heard anything back. But my little brother um, was in Australia and had sent a tape across. He got a call back, then another call back and then was down to the last kind of four or five people for it. And I remember sitting in Vancouver shooting Cabin in the Woods with uh, Drew Goddard and Joss Whedon. Both of them were looking at the trades at the sort of top five guys for Thor and saying, why aren't you in the mix here? What happened? I said, I don't know, I blew my audition, I guess. None of those guys got it. My manager then called up and said, you know, he's got an older brother, you know, can we bring him back in? So I did an audition in Vancouver in, the, in this hotel room with my mum reading Anthony Hopkins' part and she must have nailed it because uh, <laughs> it got me back in the room. And that second audition was, um, was a lot different than my first one. You know, I came in kind of with a little motivation and, and, and maybe frustration that my little brother had gotten further than me. <laughs> the sibling rivalry sort of kicked up in me and then it kind of, it moved pretty quick from there, that's cool. I do have the hammer at home. They're a little heavy for my kids to pick, pick it up. One of my boys in particular is obsessed with Thor and the other two are like, yeah, dad's Thor, whatever. My son Tristan jumps off the kitchen bench, you know, on a daily basis and, you know, yells all sorts of motivating warrior cries and so on. And, <laughs> and I come home from work and he's like, Papa, did you, did you fight the monsters? Did you, did you beat up the monsters? My cinematic crush, Robin Wright Penn and Princess Bride. I just watched that the other day, actually. God, she's just so incredibly beautiful and confident and strong and smart and witty, and I love that movie. First job I booked was on a show called Neighbours, which is a famous Australian TV show. Basically, the, one of the lead characters had been robbed in a cafe, and I had to come in and, and say, what's going on? Quick, call the police, and call the police. That was, <laughs> that was my, my big moment. I had a regular gig on another soap opera, the sort of rival soap opera to that one, uh, Home and Away. Went through every melodramatic tragedy that one can go through and plane crashes and, and, and fires and robberies and landslides and all sorts of <laughs> ridiculous things would happen to my character. I had three different kids, three different women. I was 19 on the show for three years. <laughs> I just never, never had a birthday, never aged. Any secret skills? Um, as a kid, I had a real sort of interest in sewing. I think it's because like, I couldn't afford any cool clothes, so I was like, I'm gonna make them myself. And I remember doing um, cross stitch, and for whatever reason, anything like really detailed where I had to sort of physically and, and mentally be involved and anything could hold my attention was, was a big plus for my parents in particular. For some reason, cross stitch <laughs> was one that I enjoyed buying like, or getting sort of patterns for clothing and trying to make pants and things. I don't think that went very far. I think I might have sewed a leg together or something. <laughs> but, but there was a period when I was like, that's it, I'm gonna be a designer and make clothes. And then the next day was like, I'm gonna be a professional boxer. And then the next day was like, I'm gonna be a lawyer or a doctor. I'd see movies and be inspired by things. And I guess that's why acting fits because I get to pretend to be all those things with no great amount of risk or, or, <laughs> or effort. <laughs>